Hi, this is Ahmad from Silden Tutorials and today in this video I'm gonna show you how can we add a port forwarding rules on the ASA so right now I have an ASA uh, I have connected through the ASDM um, in this video I'm gonna show you how can we reach the internal IP from the outside using port forwarding so in this video I have the ASA I have uh, many interfaces with many ISPs but I'm focusing only on the outside interface and I have uh, an inside interface that is combining my local network right so this is one of my clients in the local network and my goal is I want to reach say RDB remote desktop of this server from the internet using the outside interface of the ASA I have an ASA version 9 and I'm gonna do the setting from the ASDM then we can check the CLI configuration that is equivalent to what have we done over the ASDM right so uh, again this is my uh, ASDM that is connected this is a production network, ASA firewall and I'm gonna follow the steps right here so in a nutshell when I do the port forwarding from the outside imagine that the traffic that is coming right here right so this is gonna be remote PC right and this remote is gonna connect to outside and once it connects to the outside interface of the ASA, you will be reaching an inside client, right? So first of all, you have to make sure that the outside rules, as you see, the, the ASA firewall has rules that is outside, and you have to make sure that the, the, that the connection that you're gonna do from the remote PC to the ASA outside is permitted on the rules, right? Number two, you gotta have to add the NAT rule that say if you come from the outside through thumb po through specific port on the WAN interface, go and forward it to the local LAN interface. So let's jump in and start the configuration. So here's the uh, ASDM. So I hit the configuration, and this is the access rules. As we see, we have to make sure that the access rules are allowing. The IP right here and I'm gonna add a rule from the outside the action is permit the source is gonna be from the any and the destination is gonna be to my house that is inside uh, you can create an object a network object uh, let's say RDB connection Mm, client and we here choose the type gonna be host for a single IP address and I say 192.168.0.109 right and I'm gonna hit OK and I choose right here right and the service not I'm not allowing all the services I'm just allowing the RDB service right so I can check from here uh, service object you see So let's create another one, let's say RDB service. It's gonna be the TCB and the port is 3389. And I'm gonna hit OK. So I'm gonna add. So I'm allowing the connection from outside to the RDB client right here with only the service that is RDB I'm gonna hit OK 
and I want to care that it is on the rules that is up because as you see the rules is checked from the top to the button right so if I move it to the up uh, I guarantee that the rule is not affected by the the lower rules so I'm gonna hit apply send and now I go to the net rules and as you see you have a lot of rules right here so don't confuse don't have a headache you can skip all of those rules and create your own rules and add it on the top of the configuration right so you gotta add then choose the NAT rule before the NAT objects right I'm gonna add eight then again this is the source interface it's gonna be from the inside and the destination is gonna be from the outside right so the source is the inside as you see I check the interface name that is connected to that host which is the inside the source is gonna be my RDB host that I have just created uh, RDB connection client this and the destination interface is gonna be the outside right here and the source node is gonna be static and I'm gonna NAT with the outside interface right I'm gonna hit OK and this is an important thing right here you have to create the service right so this service I'm gonna create I'm gonna add service group and let's say RDB service and from the destination I'm gonna lift and from the source port range I'm gonna add the RDB port 33 Eight, nine. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna select. I'm gonna hit OK. And I'm gonna hit OK. And as we see, the rule is created in the button. So I Control X. I wanna move it to the up. Control V. All right. And as you see, it is in the rule number one. So again, let's revise it. Edit. We have the source interface that is inside. I have choose the IP address, which is this, right? And as you see, this object contain the IP address, this. In uh, the destination interface, is gonna be out outside. In the source node, gonna be the static. And the source address is the outside IP address of the ASA. And here I'm gonna leave all to the default and just in the service I check the RDB service and again you must create it yourself because uh, in this selection you gotta put the source IP not destination right it's gonna be the source IP address not the destination you put the port that you want to access as the source port in this configuration I'm gonna hit OK and OK all right so let's apply and send so let's try now I have a remote computer this is a remote computer and I want to check right now the RDB connections Um, I have to know the IP address that is public so the IP address 11254 I'm gonna hit connect and as you see the connection worked why work it because as you see there is a pop-up that asks me to put 
the username and the password of the windows right so again this is the rule that I have uh, added right here and this is the rule that I have added right here in the access rule to be in the top remember in the access rule you put the destination in the destination port right so here the service when you put the port you put it in the destination port right but in the NAT you have to put this service right here lock and to be in the upper rules you know this service is gonna be what gonna be for the source not in the destination that's why I told you that you have to create it yourself right so this is in a nutshell I hope this video has been informative for you I would like thank you for viewing don't forget if you like the video kindly, kindly you can subscribe my channel which is Silver Tutorials like my video and leave me a great comment thank you so much